Hello, we're here with Bill Brandemore from the Aldersgate United Methodist Church in Mechanicsburg to talk about men's ministry. Thank you for coming, Bill. Thank you, Brittany. It's a pleasure to be here. What prompted you um, to start a men's ministry specifically in your church? Well, Escape Mechanicsburg is a, a very growing church. It was uh, intentionally placed there by the conference many years ago. And we have over 600 uh, members in the church. And we probably have around 200 men 18 years in age plus. Okay. But as we've noticed, a lot of the men aren't really thoroughly engaged the way we some of us feel they need to be or should be engaged. And so after a lot of testing, we came up with the concept of an iron men's ministry. Iron sharpens iron. As men go, a man sharpens another man. Okay. So we've uh, built into this iron man ministry uh, the concept of a lot of things besides the faith journey, which is the essence of it. But in order to bring the guys to it, we're going to be doing things like uh, bowling with your children, hiking, doing a little, uh, maybe a car show where guys will bring their antique cars, a beast feast <laughs> where we'll get together and slaughter some animal. I don't know if that's exactly what we're going to so do. So a way to get together and be manly. Get together and be manly. Okay. Uh, and as we go through this and, and offer a lot of things for men to do, uh, eventually we're going to be talking about y your spiritual journey and the importance of perhaps getting involved in several of the uh, Bible study groups that we have ongoing in the church, mentoring men, or at least learning a little bit about, a little bit more about your faith so you can talk about it when people ask you, why are you a Christian? Why are you a Methodist? I think it's gonna be an exciting time for Aldersgate Methodist. And we've already gotten a number of, of men who are uh, from other churches in the area, not Methodist in particular, okay. and some men who aren't even of the faith who have decided to try this out, find out what's going on. Neat. So how long has the program been going on so far? Well, I would say uh, it's uh, probably only about a month or so that we've... Uh, and you've already got people from uh, we, outside we, areas. Uh, we're, we're off and running. A uh, young man in the congregation, Todd Kressler, has just been a whirling dervish, bringing guys from his age group, he's in his mid-40s, uh, into this. And we meet every Thursday night with those who wish to come in uh, room 203 of the church, which has now been kind of sort of defined as the Iron Men Ministry <laughs> Room, although there are other things that are done in that room. So we're very happy with it. When we were speaking earlier, you talked about how you really want this to be a mentoring program. Yes. Like you said, iron sharpens iron. Yes. Um, how are you linking up the mentor with perhaps someone that's not as strong in their Well, we're gonna, we're gonna take some time to, uh, 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 David Belinsky from the Christian Businessmen's Connection is going to uh, provide a, a day for us to talk to our men, those who are interested about how they can do this, how they can begin on that journey. Because it is a journey. Mm -hmm. And if you're not prepared as a Paul to uh, mentor a Timothy, it would be a, a very difficult situation for that potential Timothy. I know I've been in the uh, Christian Men Businessmen Connection Operation Tim Timothy Bible Study for about eight months now. And, and I'm still you know, plodding along and, and, and learning and discerning and, um, People say, oh, well, you have the gift of, of talk, and I do, but it's more than the gift of talk. You've got to really understand your faith journey, and that's the critical part of it. Um, have you seen in churches across the board, mm -hmm. do you think that the women are more leading the faith now sometimes, that it's important for the men to kind of pick it up? or No, I don't know if it's important <laughs> for the men to pick it up. The, the, the history of the Methodist Church, and I've written, uh, not written, I wish I did, I've read a book on the history of the Methodist Church, is that the, the women have been a dominant player throughout its history in America. Uh, they've been in the pews. They've been willing to stand up and say, take me, I'm willing to do this. Mm -hmm. And we men have to look at them and say, well, women are busy. Women know how to do things and can multitask. A lot of men uh, don't do that as well as you women do. So the concept of uh, Following our women is important, but we want to get to the point where, as a family unit, we have uh, the, the family sitting together in the pew because statistics show us that on any given Sunday, about a quarter, in some cases, a quarter of the women, married women sitting in the pews are not there with their, with their spouse. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a neat program to really 
um, focus on growing strong male leaders mm -hmm. in the church mm -hmm. and to get together just the guys. Just and, the guys. Just <laughs> and, the guys. Um, just to we're be not able gonna to have mentor a, each other. We're not going to have a revolt and throw the women out. That's not the intent <laughs> of, the, of well, the program. I thank you for sharing. Um, is there any way that people can learn more about your we're ministry? We're going to be uh, soon uh, opening up a Facebook page and a website, which okay. we will get uh, to the conference office okay. so that it can be put up on the conference website. Great. We're not quite there yet, but we're, we're close. All right. Sounds good. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> Pleasure. If you would like to learn more about ministries such as this, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express. <laughs>